Today on Outdoor Handyman Adventures, we're going to be putting an inner tube in this tire. And I will be showing you how to install an inner tube today. So let's get started. Tools you need. I usually just use a hammer. I always need a hammer. Um, and I use, a, I use this crowbar for these little rims. Um, this one here is, well, I don't know if I need this or not. Uh, I don't need it for this one. This one actually is already broke down because it was flat. But if the tire is stuck, I usually just stick the crowbar in here and kind of hit it to uh, break down the rim. Let me see if the other side is solid. The other side is solid. So let me show you how, how to do that. Let me grab a rag here. Kind of wipe some of this mess off here. But yeah, um, let me show you how to do that. So what I do is I just stick it right here between the rim. And this should break the tire from the rim. And then work it around. Okay. And just like that, it, it should break your uh, break the tire loose from the rim. You got all that there done. Okay, so that's that's a tool I use to break the uh, tire off the rim. Now I use what's called tire tools, and I use a tool like this here, um, basic hand tool you can get at your uh, any tool supply place. Just slide it like that right there. See how I did that? I just push down. I push. Let me, let me show you again. I push down on this side of the rim. Push this down on this side of the rim, and then I slide this in. And I just pull right over with that right there, just, just like that. So easy. And then I got another tire tool right here, just like this, a little spoon looking thing. And this is what I use to, uh, and I just come and slide it, push down, push in. Hold your rim, I mean your tire, and just pull over, just like that. Just like that to do it. Um, but this is the thing. I don't want to take this side of the tire off. I'm just showing you this as an example. So let's put this back on. And we're going to break it loose on this side. So this is the side with the valve stem. This is the side we want to break loose. But I'm just showing you that as an example. Push down here. Stick this here. Slide it across just like that right there. And you don't want to get too big of a bite. You don't want to go too wide. You don't want to go around here and try to do it. You want to try to stay close to where the, the tire lip is on the rim. And just work it like that. And when it should start doing it now, let's see. There we go. Oh, yeah. We're coming off now. And you just got to get a little bite at a time. And work it just like that. Oh, we got water in here. All kind of nasty stuff in here. We got to clean this tire out. Ugh. So we have a mess here. So I need to, I need to finish breaking this on down, so I can get the rim completely off. What I normally do on this one. Let me show you. I'm gonna show you how to break the, the rim all the way down. Get your tire tool here. Slide it, slide it underneath here between your rim, just pull it right over, completely over just like this right here. Take your hammer and just tap it right here. I should be wearing the uh, eye protection. Always make sure you wear eye protection. Oh, and you pop your rim right off. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna clean this tire. Ugh, nasty stuff everywhere. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean this rim off. I'm gonna clean this rim off with a rag, clean it off real good, make sure there's no sharp edges or anything that's gonna puncture my inner tube. Um, so we're gonna, I'm gonna clean this all up real good with a wire brush and clean that up and uh, get the water out of this tire. Okay, I flipped the rim, throwed it through the yard, I mean the tire, um, to get all the water out as much as I could and wipe down the inside of the wheel, the tire. The rim, I used a wire brush, just brushed it really good. Get all the, any spots off of there that may puncture the inner tube. 
You don't want anything that's going to be really sharp. Make sure you get your edge really good here too. All you need is some basic hand tools and you can do this at home yourself just like I'm doing it. You don't need a fancy garage to do it in. You can just do it right out in the yard. Just get you a nice table. I'm using the, this little platform here which is my back porch which works great. So it don't, you don't have to have all that high dollar stuff to really make things happen. You can do it on your own with just basic tools and little know-how okay I'm gonna go ahead and pull this valve stem I'm gonna use some I'm gonna use some of these pliers right here these vice grips and see if I can't take this valve stem out wrap it like that and pull it it should Pop it right out. It did. Let me just push this on out. Let's see. Well, let me grab it with the pliers here. Just pull our valve stem out. We won't, we won't need the valve stem. So we'll throw it over here in our little trash can. Okay. Just want to make sure it's clean around this hole right here. I'm going to brush it so we don't want nothing to puncture this tube. All nice. All nice. Okay, now get our tire over here. What we want to do is I'm gonna put, I think I'm gonna put this side out. So we're gonna stick this tube, this tire back in this, the rim back in this tire. So what I like to do is I use some oil, just any kind of oil. This is some some oil I found. It doesn't have to be synthetic blend or anything like that, but it just some motor oil I found laying on the shelf in the barn, so we're going to use it today. And just get on your rack here. I'm going to wipe this lip off right here with your oil. And I like to put it on this side of the lip as well as on the inside. And I'm just going to do a light coat right now because I'm going to kind of clean the dirt off of it. And then once I do that, then I'm going to put, put some oil on it so it, that oil will make it slide right over that rim. Yep. All right. Now really wet it on there. That ain't gonna hurt nothing. There we go. Now, which side has got the valve stem? The, the side with the valve stem hole, face it upward. You always want it facing up towards you. All right, flip the tire around, push, and it pops on there just like that. We got our valve stem hole here. We'll be installing an inner tube. Voila, here's our inner tube. So this is what we'll be installing in this tire. I'm gonna go ahead and take the valve stem off. Right there. Don't forget to put the cap on your oil. I'm gonna spill that. All right, now we're gonna lift this up. We're gonna stuff this in here. Okay. Stand it up. That's where y'all can see what I'm doing here. I gotta find my hole. Let's see. 
there's the valve stem hole here. Valve stem's over there. Line them up. Okay. I try to get my valve stem in first, but as I do it, I take the tube and I stick it over the rim lightly with my hand running around the edge of the rim. You know, make sure there's no sharp edges because you don't want to cut your hand either or because or the inner tube. So once you do that, you get it like that and it should be like this, okay? Now, I got to find the valve stem because we definitely want to make sure the valve stem's in the right spot. Okay, we can turn our rim still. Okay, slide our valve stem in so that we can find it. Here we go. And there's our valve stem stuck in there. I'm gonna stick a cap on there, but this cap ain't big enough to hold it into the into the hole here. So what I do, uh, let's see here, make sure we're down past the rim, but we don't want to pinch our inner tube, whatever we do. We definitely not want to pinch the inner tube. Definitely don't want to do that. Okay, now we want some more oil because we're gonna put oil around this loop uh, lip as well of the tire. Lift up your tire and you get it under there really good. All right. I put the cap back on my oil. Trying to show the camera. <laughs> Also trying to do it where I don't slip off, flip off the porch here. So let me use my other tool. Use this one because it's longer. Come on. All right. Flat tool here. There we go. Start moving my foot out of the way. Whoops, don't fall. Definitely don't fall when you get your hurt when you're doing it. That would never be good for anybody. I hope I'm doing this where y'all can see what I'm doing. All right. All right. We'll get some air in here. Where are you going? Come back up in here. All right. Okay, let's we'll see if it's around the rim on the back side. We are located around the rim, which is good. Around the rim is good. This is a tire gauge. What we want to do is check our pressure. And right now, it looks like we have 10 pounds in it. I'm going to put 15 pounds in this tire. It's just what I'd like to run in them. Get my valve stem right here. My valve stem cap there so I don't lose it. A little bit more. We're at 
15, it looks like. Let's check it again. Yep, I'm at 15. You'll see the 15 right there. 10, 5, 10, and 15. I'm at the 15 mark. And you just take this with this end here, the end right here. You want to get this end and push it over your valve stem. Just, and just to shoot out the end here. And then you know what how much air you have in your tire. And you just slide that back in there. Now, if you got too much air in there, you got a little thing right here. Not on this side, but on this side, the back side of the part you check your air. This here has got a little valve thing, a little uh, notch here that helps you release the air. If you need to release air, you just take this part and just push it in there and you release air. So let me throw a little bit more air back in there since I let air out. Check it again. We're right at 15. And that's what we want. Put our cap back on. It's not an easy job, but you can do it at home with the right basic hand tools, such as these tire basic tire tools. You don't need any fancy machinery or anything like that. And you can do it yourself and save a bunch of money because the inner tubes are a lot cheaper than buying tires. And that's all you need to do to uh, fix your tire on your mower. So now this riding mower tire is fixed. So I hope you enjoy this video. I hope this helps you out. And leave in the comments where you're watching me from. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And uh, I hope you enjoy the video and have a great day. Thank you for watching Outdoor Handyman Adventures.